Good evening and welcome to ATV News. My name is Shella Malawson. On today's bulletin, the blood donors who help save lives. Environmentalists tackle pollution levels. Poverty-stricken life for famous actor. And in sport, Dynamos vs Highlanders ends in stalemate. Many Zimbabweans are still reluctant to donate blood for the fear of needles and knowing their HIV status. However, many are donating, which is helping to save the lives of others. Jeffrey Moyo reports on these unsung heroes. Few people have been donating blood for years that has helped save many lives, yet these heroes remain unsung. ATV spoke to some of these blood donors in the capital we have been ensuring that the blood banks remain stocked. Giving blood is equally important because I mean, it saves the next person. I did it through experience. It was when I needed it most. Um, it was readily uh, given to me when I needed it most. So um, basically that's the whole point. Some people attributed the low number of blood donors to people's fear of knowing their HIV status. Yeah, it's some donors say they were motivated to donate blood after realizing the high demand of the precious commodity. I started donating blood as soon after um, being discharged from hospital after having been involved in a road traffic accident in December 2010. So thereafter I realized how important it was as a blood recipient. Other people say they shan't donating blood because of the high price at which the blood is sold for. I, I don't understand why something that I get to donate is then sold to someone at a fee. That's that, those are my... my, 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 my that, that is the problem for me when it comes to, to, to blood donations. Otherwise, if, if, if they change their system whereby I donate blood and it's given to someone for free, I think uh, I, I'll, be, I'll be willing to, 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 to donate as well. But National Blood Service Zimbabwe spokesperson said they sell blood at reasonable prices. We have got standard um, user fees, which, which are called cost recovery fees, that enable us to, that when we are paid these fees, we are able to, to go and collect the blood, we are able to process it. For a, for a unit of blood, it's 450 mils, and to the government hospitals, we, we charge $65. To the mission hospitals, we charge $50, and then to the private hospitals, we charge $100. And our customer is the government, and the prices that I have stated are the ones that we charge to those health institutions. She allayed fears among potential blood donors who are still hesitant to donate blood. People think that we test for HIV when they come and donate. So you find that we, we are not an HIV uh, testing center. We actually, it's one of the things that, it's one of the diseases that are screened when the blood is now being um, processed in the lab. Reporting for ATV in Harare, Zimbabwe. With rising levels of pollution in the country, a group of environmentalists in Harare have embarked on a project to keep the environment clean. Jeffrey Moyo gives us the story. Environmentalists last week converged in the capital for an expo to conscientize the public about the importance of conserving the environment. The Green Expo was attended by, among others, the Zimbabwe Sunshine Group, Mirror Commissions, and environmental management agents. We want to conscientize members of the public and also corporates to participate in environmental issues and also taking seriously you know, their considerations in terms of tracing the carbon footprint of their products so that they can either reduce it, trace it or manage it so that we can turn the green policies of corporates into uh, eco-friendly practices in their companies. Zimbabwe Sunshine Group Communications Officer explained about the concept of environmental greening. So you are going to be adopting streets and greening them. So we want to get input from them so that they tell us what exactly uh, they expect us to, to implement in those streets. Children who also attended the expo sang about the importance of water. Do. 
tunotichawana about water kuti kana vakavhura matetsi vanofanira kuvhara matetsi pavanenge vari nguva dzose tunoti chef tine zvemarara kuti vanofanira kuti vakaona marara ari pasi vanoisa mumabin tunova tichafut tine zvekuti havafanira kutambira pane masuwedge ngozi zvino zvinenge zviri health hazard kwavari some people who attended the event spoke about the importance of conserving water kanzira katitira mabin marodi kuti kana munhu wapedza kudyika chikafu chako uise tsina pakachengetedzeka isarasikira pese pese bozi munyika medu mune vanhu vakawandisa matoristi vanobve kunze kwenyika achidoku uya kupinda kuona zvinhu zvinoyevedza hazvibatsiri kuti vaye vaone environment yedi yakasviba tiri kunyanya kucherechedza kuchengetedzeka kwenda rounda tichitarisara mangwana redu saka as artist we are believing kuti tiri muromo we are the mouth of the mouthless environment saka in other words tiri kushandisa our different genres the art kutaura nyaya dzokuchengetedzeka kwenda rounda others complained about dumping of waste in undesignated places tsakunoitwa marara ndo mwe mwe dzimwe ngwati tonobofe mamwe yaiwoyo wafe mamwe yaiwoyo hausikuzi yahosha dzori kutora nyaya marara inga daichitakurwa marara chinoraswa reporting for ATV in Harare Zimbabwe Lawrence Bonzo Simbarashe, who rose to fame in the hit drama Timina Bonzo, is now living in poverty despite having a successful acting career spanning 30 years. Robert Tafumane gives us the story. <laughs> Zvema gitare nekuekita zvinonzi hazvina pundutso kune vari mazviri nekuti vazhinji vevatambi ava vanogumisira vasina cheuviri. ATV yakashanyira Lorenzi Simbarashe uyo akaita mukurumbira mumutambo waibuda pa TV wainzi Timina Bonzo akataura nezvekushaya pundutso kwebasa rekuekita. Muno Zimbabwe apo mai. Maramu na because my young the one is a wake Timothy Tapuma Nei. Hector Muzimbabwe, an ingratitude bassa, at Mokuna Kunza, Choku Tapatafra. I see Sakuda, Ungaru, Ako to Avakuno, Hector Kudaro. Uchi shandisa, tingati kuzika nwa kwa ku, kutu uchi ita wazumwe usi nika na mama basa. E, kunyanya nyanya mabasa haya, anu dagutu ushande ni rushinji. Timi anu indira mberi achiti kuneva anu da kuita zemi tambo ii, vano fanira kuona kutiva karonge ra rabo ramangwana. Nechidiki, duma kuru zirata ayewa, kana chita zuma drama iso zizi, neche koro fitinga achi itu. Kutiti gozo wano orimwe basa rinu kuna kubatsira. Tichita zvedu zema drama izuzu, asiti inepa mwopa tine ngetichi wana tichibata TV. Kunyangwe Lorenzi akapinda mumi tambo ya kawanda kusanga nisira kushanda na Denzel Washington uyo anemu kurumbira kwa Amerika, upenyu wake hauna kusanduka. Aka inde ramberi achiti Parizu na upenyu wake huri paruma na nzombe mushure mekunge imba ya kea kacha ni moto. Tuna amusina kana zinu, maamune zinu za kazara, masofa, Panamdara bonzo, tiango sara imbiri chete, zekuti pano famba wa mwevano mumoresa, asiba mwevacha tombo ziba imbiri yake. Ndini mtoruwe na uwe ATV, ngiri mgutare ya rare, Zimbabwe. The battle for the Castle Laga Premier League title continues after the Dynamos and Highlanders drew their crunch match on Sunday. Crispin Tabura reports. Zimbabwe's football giants, Dynamos and Highlanders last Sunday drew 1-1 one -one in a Castle Laga Premier League title encounter in which Boso maintained their unbeaten run at Baba Field Stadium. While the police ensured maximum security during the match to prevent violence that characterizes matches at Baba Fields, soccer fans peacefully cheered for their teams. <laughs> A 
Islanders who started off displaying carpet soccer failed to capitalize on chances and received an early badge from Dimbare two minutes into the first half. However, Bosso retaliated during the second half to even the scoreline, attracting thunderous cheering from the famous Soweto Bay. Highlanders head coach was pleased with the results of the match, which ended in a one-all draw. We commend the players for, for putting in so much, much effort, especially in training and all the games that were played. Like I've always said, I think we are building a team that is going to be there for quite some time. If you look at the performance of this team, I think they have been in the doldrums for quite a long time. And for us to go 15 games and beat them, I think the players need to get some credit, which is good for the team. Dimbari's assistant coach promised the fireworks when the teams clash for the second leg at Rufaro Stadium in two weeks. Dimbari is looking forward to Ghana maximum points at home, while Boso is seeking to retain their unbeaten record. Reporting for ATV at Babafield Stadium in Bulawayo, Zimbabwe. Thank you for joining us. Good night.